Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by. Now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell for more upcoming future videos. I know I've been away for a while, but like so many others, I too have friends and family under quarantine in their own home states. So I just wanted to be there for them, but life goes on and I must continue what I love to do. So when in public, please keep your social distance and be safe. Protect yourself as much as you can. Wash your hands frequently. Sanitize as often as you can and stay healthy. I love you guys very much. Now let's get started. I went on Pinterest looking for a coffee table and I came across these beautiful, unique nesting coffee tables. I would like to share with you how I created mines with a modern twist and a vintage style. If you would like to find out how I created my very own coffee table, just continue watching. So I decided to take a trip down to my local Home Depot and gather up supplies that I needed. I purchased three 9 inch wooden legs with a vintage style. I also purchased three 14 inch wooden legs. To start off I'll be using masking tape and I'll start wrapping all the flat head screws on each leg. Next, I'll be using two round 17 inch wooden boards. Next, I'll gather up all my pieces and take them to a well ventilated area and give it three coats of white spray paint. I will have a complete list of all items used in the description bar below. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms for upcoming DIYs and giveaways. I also purchased this 12 piece acrylic paint set in assorted colors and I'll be using three colors. I'll be using metallic gold, navy blue and brown. I'll be using parchment paper to protect my working station. I'll be using three plastic container lids to apply my paint. Next, I'll take a sponge that I already had on hand and I'll be taking one and cutting three small cubes. I put on latex gloves to protect my hands from any paint. Next, I'll start off with the brown paint and I'll tap very lightly and gently and I'll repeat this step throughout the whole entire board. I will be repeating the same steps using the navy blue. Continue the same steps with the metallic gold.
continue alternating the colors until you are completely satisfied and always remember this can be done in any color of your choice and design. Next I'll continue the same steps for all the wooden legs and this time I'll just do the center of each leg. Next, I'll repeat the same steps using the metallic gold and I'll be applying it on the trimming on each leg. I will continue with the metallic gold and this time I'll be repeating the same tap and motion to give it a distress appearance. I repeated the same steps on the edges of the round boards. I needed Mod Podge and due to most of our stores being closed temporarily, I decided to make my own by using school glue, water, and a bowl and a craft stick. I'll be using 3 ounces of school glue and 3 ounces of water. And then I'll mix well using my craft stick. If you use 5 ounces of glue, use 5 ounces of water and so on and so on. I applied 3 light coats with two hours drying time in between. Once my wooden boards were dry, I will apply six plates to attach the legs. I will start by placing three plates with the tips and the edges seven inches apart. Next I'll use a marker to mark my placements and the holes before I start my drilling. To make it easier I'll pre-drill holes to add my screws. For the taller table, I'll be placing the plates in the same format. This time I'll be placing them 3 inches apart. I will leave this space empty so when it's time to nest the tables together. Next I'll be applying two remote LED touch lights underneath each table and these are self-adhesive but you may use hot glue for a better hold. And here's the finished look. I really do love the way this nesting coffee table turned out and the marble tie-dye top gives it a unique appearance. Also by painting on a distressed look, 
gives it that beautiful vintage appearance. I also love the lighting that this will bring to my empty space. I am so happy to be back doing what I love to do the most. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's DIY as much as I enjoy making it. Now don't forget I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends. Subscribe if you haven't comment if you wish click on notification bells for more upcoming future videos please stay safe and healthy and i'll see you real soon